welcome back to my studio. Today I am working on a painting of Obidos, Portugal. And this is a town actually I knew nothing of, but one of my favorite uh, shows to watch on TV, which I do not watch TV very much, but I do record uh, International House Hunters on the HG channel. And I just, this was a town that was featured on that. A couple was looking for a home there. And I just fell in love with this beautiful little village. It's on the coast of Portugal, on the Atlantic coast. And just delightful. It has white buildings with yellow and blue um, colors painted on the walls. and. Just really a pretty, pretty little village, colored doors, and just right down my, my alley. And so I decided to paint this little alleyway in Obidos that's looking out over the ocean. So I begin with my sky. The darker blue is phthalo blue, is, no, excuse me. The darkest blue is cobalt blue plus white, at the very top. And then I, as I get lower toward the horizon line, I'm using white plus thalo blue. And then I'm also going to have clouds back there. But I want to get my thalo blue in here. I'm going to have a bougainvillea draping over this building. So I'm leaving that part of the canvas white. We're going to have clouds. It's going to be kind of a sunset getting late in the afternoon and that sun is warming the, the clouds. So I've got my, got my blue in there. I paint my blue first. Now I'm going to start my clouds. Now the, the shadow part of the cloud is my mud which is two parts of ultramarine blue plus one part of alizarin crimson. And then I've added white into that. And so I paint the shadow portion, the clouds. I'm using a bright brush. This, if you're from watching my videos very much, you know I like these brushes. They're a square brush. But I can use that corner to get, get into these tighter spots. And then the flat, broad side to make large brush strokes. So I paint my shadow of the clouds all the way down to the horizon ocean. And since the light's coming into the painting from the left, the right side of the clouds are going to be in shadow. I'll go ahead and pull that into the, this wet sky. I like to paint my skies wet into the wet because then it makes me, it, it allows me to make the edges of the clouds soft. And you, you want soft edges going back into the distance because that helps them to go back. Harder edges, sharp, defined edges come forward. So now this is a mixture of my mud plus a little bit of cadmium red light. And I start adding some warmth into these clouds. The buildings are going to be white, so I let the clouds be a little bit warmer and have some tone in them so that the buildings will stand out. That sunlight pouring into this area will really make that building stand out. And you can see, I have to set my camera at a little bit of an angle to the canvas. You can see the perspective, so the perspective may look a little bit off. But that's because I just have to do that. If I put the camera directly behind me, you wouldn't be able to see me paint. So, kind of a compromise we have to make. This is just some white added into that mixture previously of the mud plus a little bit of cadmium orange or cadmium red light plus white and so then I can just drag drag that color into my into my clouds and again I like working wet into wet because it allows me to make this those clouds softer. When I clean my brush, the secret to clean color on your canvas is to clean your brush. I'll swish it around in my thinner and then wipe it out with, with tissue. 
and I use Turpinoid Odorless Paint Thinner. And that way my studio doesn't smell like turp turpentine. I work in my home. The, in fact, my living room when you walk in the house is actually <laughs> my studio. People always are just stunned. They walk in and easels are set up. And it's not your, your, not your usual home setup. Desk and computer and this is this is where I this is where I paint. Now I can soften those edges more by taking a clean brush. Again, I make sure it's good and clean. I go through a lot of tissue, as you notice. And, uh, so I can take a clean brush and pull from the blue into the clouds. And that even softens those edges even more. You have to be very careful doing this so you don't muddy up your, your color. But just pull from the blue into, the, into your cloud. And that softens those edges even more. And you can even take a little bit of the sky color if you have something that you want to paint back over. Look, I don't like that, that white coming out there. So that, I just again, I take my clean brush and smooth those colors. So see how that makes those clouds soft. I'm going to do that again right here. And just soften that color. Now I'm going to let a little of this warmth come down behind that bluff and pull a little bit back into my shadow there. That just accentuates that bluff. Now I don't like this right here, so I'm going to take a little bit of that warmer mixture, that mid-tone, and just pull into that and soften that. And I'm going to take some of my lightest color then and just drag it lightly over that. And a little bit of light into there. And then my shadow. And those clouds will accentuate that top of that chimney. Just soften those colors. And I don't like this little shape right there. Give my brush again. And I just will pull this down into there. Still don't like it. So I just, that's a little bit better. Now I need to soften that and I think we'll have the sky down. There we go. My shadow here, bring a little bit more of my shadow up in there. Now my horizon line. I'm going to make with a mixture of my mud plus ultramarine blue plus white. I just come right across here. Actually that can be a little bit darker. So I just add a tiny bit more of my ultramarine blue into that. A little bit more mud. Or the titch darker. Now let's see how this works. Yeah, that's better. And I'm just going to bring that color back down into here. Now with a smaller brush, I make a kind of a little zigzag along that line because I want to soften that edge. Again, soft edges go back, hard edges come forward. And so we want that line to just be soft. So I can just pull this, but that did one very straight. That's better. And then cleaning my brush, there's a, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's a little line there in the paint and I, I want to take, get that out of there. And just kind of work that edge. 
this color along the horizon just gets real soft. And along the ocean, there's a lot of moisture in the air, so that also softens the horizon back there. Just soften that edge a bit. There we go. Let me just soften one more thing here, just there. It's just a matter of going back and forth and working. Clean brush. There we are. And I'm going to get a little more of my light right in here, coming in behind that building. Because this building's going to be dark, and that light then pulls you back into the distance. Come watch part two where I work on the bluff. So I'll see you soon.